How's it going guys? This is Dusk Snow and this is going to be my playthrough of Stardew Valley. Enjoy. How's it going guys? This is Dusk Snow and in this episode I'll be introducing y'all to Stardew Valley. Um, this is a game that I've recently seen um, a couple other people play and it just sparked my interest because it's a farm simulating style game similar to that of Harvest Moon and that's just something that has piqued my interest out of like all the video games I suppose like that's one of my top oh hey that's the main feature of this game and I'm just like oh my god so I have decided to get this game for, well, specifically for YouTube, but I also got it for myself for, like, something to do to kill time. Um, I've played a little bit of this game already, but I'm going to start a new game just for y'all. And, um, I'll be talking about just different odds and ends, and more than likely I'll be acting out the voices since... Um, this is a reading style game, but, um, let's start a new game. Um, they, this is the character creation, um, for this particular one. Do it this way. favorite thing. Oh, what's my favorite thing to do? Gaming, I suppose. Um, they don't necessarily have hair that I have. So I'm gonna go with this hair right here, but this is the, like, hair that they do have. Oh, actually that one's better. Um, they have a whole ton of shirts, um, so I'm just going to go with this one. Um, I'm going to go with a little bit of a beard. Um, you can change your eye color to almost anything. white hair. Um, I'm going to go with red. Actually, it's fine like that. Um, black. i go with the shirt. Um, you can change the difficulties of how your um, farm is. This is the standard one, which will be the one that I'll be playing on. I might double into these, but pretty much this one is um, riverbanks. Um, this one's where you're in a forest. Your limp, your farming space is smaller, but you got more wood. Excuse me. The hilltop ones basically are on like a mountain or something and essentially need to um, build around that aspect. And then the wilderness one is where you'll have monsters and stuff come out. And so this one's like the hardest one. And I wouldn't really say this one's the easiest one. But that's how that is. Um, I'm not going to skip the intro. And I mean, aside from me talking, oh, I guess this is a randomized. But you can see what your character looks like. Um, I might change the shirt because it is a silly. And I don't know if you can change these later or not, so.
and for my very special grandson. I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will become a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. XX years later. Java, join us, thrive. <laughs> Green, work, work, work. Smile, you're with Java. Terminated, uh-oh. Typing up a storm over there. Oh my god, I just now realized life's better with Java. I just now realized that they have cameras like hardcore. Oh my god, the dude's dead. Thirsty! Uh. Um... I've already like fiddled around with like if I could click on anything like I've already tried all this stuff up here and like the only thing you can really click on is the envelope. Dear Dusk, if you're, you know, I should do it in that voice being that it's the old guy, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belonged. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. Snow Farm is located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all. And now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. And then it just repeats itself. Um, it's those three pages. Um, I don't know if I'll keep up with all the voices or not. I might probably get a couple of them confused with one another. And if I do, I apologize. Um, that's going to be the grandpa voice, though. Um, a lot of people will probably complain about, oh, these graphics are old. But, I mean... In my eyes, uh, graphics aren't the only thing that makes a game. Thirty. But, um, yeah, I played a little bit of this game. Hello! You must be Dusk. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mary Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you to, oh, the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your life. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. I don't know, like, which voices I should do for which character, so probably this episode, the next one will probably just be wonky. This is Snow Farm. Water! What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but 
there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. That's a big mess. And here we are. Oh, excuse me. Oh, and here we are, your new home. <sighs> Surprise. Ah, the new farmer. He doesn't really look all that old. Unless it's a hat. Oh, it is a hair. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I thought that was his hair. Welcome. I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. I think that... You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new... New on a cow. Someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Rustic. That's one way to put it. Rusty might be a little more apt, though. Road! Don't listen to her, Dusk. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. <gasps> hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from your long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you need anything, if you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Creep. He's a creeper. But yeah, this uh, this game is similar to Harvest Moon, and that's one of the reasons your progress has been saved. It would be nice, be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. And then you have two out of 28 people. Oh, almost a bug on microphone. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready to harvest. Um, if you have your mouse and you point it at something and you hit X, um, where is it square? Yeah, it's square. If you hit, um, square on it, then it'll pick it up, which isn't really a bad thing. And then if you have it picked up, um, oh no, but yeah, um, like all of this is decorations. I'm gonna watch the TV real quick. Oh, hey, they had a new one. Let's see the weather report. Welcome to Kazoo 5, your number one source from weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Alright, I don't know if this character is female or not, so. Show where your voice and spirits is channeled directly to you. The spirits are in good humor today. 
think you'll have a little extra luck. Oh, I read that wrong. It said, I think you have. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one should have a more of a country thing. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild foliage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Alright, well that's a good... Um... I'm gonna clear out a section of this land real quick. Actually, it's not gonna be real quick. It's probably gonna take me a minute. Um, each school has its own specific um, what's the word? It has its own separate like what it does. Um, the scythe is good for like these plants, that's a nuisance. Then you have the pickaxe that, um, oops, which I'm going to put my mouse over here so I can see how much energy I get. Every action you do with a tool is two energy, I believe, and that's the only thing that I've noticed. Oh, the butterflies. It's not really like you only have a certain amount of. Let me do this real quick. You only have a certain amount of space in your inventory. Um, after your first day, you'll get where you can buy another section, which is this part right here. And then after you buy that, you can buy another one, which is free 2,000, 10,000, I think. Um, I'm going to build a chest before I do anything else because I know that it's going to be rough early game with not having the right, I'm not gonna waste my energy out. Um what I've learned in the other game oh from the other little teeny tiny bit that I've have done on this. Let me get rid of all that. Is that um those big Stumps you can't get rid of with this particular axe. Oops, I didn't need to water that. Fool! I'm just trying to get a extra, a whole bunch of extra wood early before I go out and explore. Um, I haven't gotten very far in the gameplay that I've already played. Um, and I don't know if this is going to delete that. Alright, um, let's look at the little interface real quick though. Um, this is like your decoration type thing over here on your character. Um, I'm level zero. Um, your inventory, which you can pick and choose where everything goes, which I'm going to have Oops. Oops. Oh my gosh. There we go. I'm gonna have it like that, because I don't use this or this. Oh. I don't use this or this as often. Anyway. Um, each day, depending on, like, what you do, depends on, like, your experience for this. Um, combat, foraging, mining, and farming is really easy. Um, I haven't done much fishing. Even on the other one. Oh, I haven't done any on this one, but... Yeah. Um, this is your relationships with everybody. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Being that, I already know them. And I think this is the wizard guy. Because there's a wizard tower. Um, I didn't ever go and talk to him. I didn't do much of anything um, when I was first playing. Um, I looked up a little few odds and ends. And I'll be... Going to check this place out early game. Because I know that's like a good place to get money. Let me make a chest real quick. Um, I don't know what this is. Artifacts. 
must be a sword. Or that must be the rust sword. I don't know. Ooh. See, I didn't even look at this one last time. Um, turn auto run on. There we go. Now I have a little red square wherever. Um, for right now, I'm just gonna. I can't play that. Place this bad boy right here. Um, that's all that I'm gonna do for that. Um, with that last little bit of water that I still have. I think I can just like smack this. Oops. Yeah. And pick it right back up. Which right now, I'll just put it right there. I don't really have a place to put it. I mean, I'm gonna put a fence right here so it don't matter. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So five is right here. It's getting bad. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, planting doesn't take any energy, so that's good. Yeah, you want to watch the TV every single time that you get a chance to. That way you know uh, what's all going to happen and all this other stuff. I don't think picking things takes my energy. start a couple of the little mini events which means I need to go to the mine gather any and everything that I find along my little adventures Mark. Let me see what's going on. Um, each, what's it called? Um, what's the stupid thing called? Season, I do believe, is one month, and I gotta kind of prepare for the egg festival. I think that's the one where you can get stuff, but I have to make sure that I get everything I need, which I need to go in there in a minute and talk to 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to do voices for everybody. I can't make my voice go too very high. Hi, you must be Dusk, the new farmer. I am Caroline. And see, they don't really say much. My husband runs the general store here, and you have you met my daughter, Everdale? She's the pale one with purple hair. What? That's her, your daughter? Did not know that. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Judy. 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 Something like that. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farm around could really change things. Even though you have another farm. Oh my god, what am I stuck on? Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mommy says not to talk to strangers, but do you see how they Sorry, that's my squeaker voice. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Doctor who? Just kidding. I'm preferred regular checkups and medical procedures for all of the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. It's gonna be like my Einstein ish voice. Why do I keep getting stuck on my ear? Don't run from me. I have to talk to you. Oh, I must have already talked to you. Hi, Why, hello. And welcome to our little community, dearie. You can call me. <clears throat> you can call me Granny if you like. Oh, well, that's all you gotta say to me, Granny? Fine. Hi. Oh, did you want something? No. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Mario. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, but the small town like this, a new face can really alter the community to dynamics. It's exciting. This is the mayor's house. It's the big one. Most of the buildings are like labeled and stuff, so like if you don't know who you're supposed to go and talk to or anything like that, these are gonna be where I go. Ah, the mayor! So how was your first night in the old cottage? Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. I don't know what... Don't... I'm not quite sure I understand why the bed and the house have anything to do with one another aside from the fact that one's in the other. Oh, and the new farmer boy, we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the beach little cabin. Oh, I totally said that one wrong. <laughs> I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, Mr. Elliot, it's very nice to meet you too. Well, I don't have, you don't have nothing else to say to me. Fine! I understand! Alright. Let's see what this is. <gasps> A new person! Oh, hey. So, you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I'll see you around. That guy kind of reminds me of, um... That one, I'm trying to remember the name. The Tunnel Snakes Leader off of Fallout. But I need to continue my voyage. I have to get to the cave. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Oh, I need to stop it. That's my freaking Elliot voice. 
Greetings, I am Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing you. Hi guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, if you have, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share it with your friends.